Hi, everyone. Welcome to my capstone presentation. My name is Elizabeth Caravalano, and this is a story. It's a story about the rhythms of my life and as rhythm as a way to restore and heal and of dreams coming true and of the power and presence and coherence of what I call the flow state and stepping into a new and creative career where all of my skills and life experience and vision for service and community come together. Like every good story, there's a challenge or a turning point. And in this video, I will show you how my capstone internship project helped me resolve and repair, reimagine uh, an addiction cycle I have to overworking and overwhelm. The project also helped me work through some burnout, reclaim my internal rhythm, and explore what balance and well being mean to me as I step into my new role as an art therapist and counselor. And I hope through this video and my story and sharing my experience, you may consider ways to allow more balance and well being and restoration and creativity in your own life. So here we go. The groundwork for my internship site was set a year and a half before my internship started when the LifeLink reached out to me to do some marketing and community outreach and fundraising work. Didn't really need the extra work at the time, but I recognized the huge opportunity and gift offered here, especially looking ahead for internship potential, so I took the job. The mission of the LifeLink really moves me as I have worked with underserved populations throughout my career. Uh, plus, I could tell it was an amazing team of devoted and heartfelt people. The LifeLink is committed to improving individual and community health through the breaking of the cycles of chronic homelessness, mental illness, trauma, exploitation, and addiction. And while the LifeLink had been serving the community of Santa Fe for over 32 years, the community didn't have much awareness about the crucial work we were doing. So I hit the ground running. I redesigned the logo and the website, got into the community, did some team building, created fundraisers, and had a lot of fun. So by the time my internship came around, I was a solid part of the LifeLink team. Becoming part of the LifeLink clinical group, in addition to maintaining my regular outreach work, created a whole new world of learning and support. And I began to co-facilitate the intensive outpatient sessions, which meet three days a week, three hours a day. Clients attending the IOP program are getting our highest level of care and are often experiencing severe crisis with both substance use disorder and mental health challenges, homelessness, uh, many other physical and emotional issues, very vulnerable situations. And my heart was immediately stretched and I learned to sit with much discomfort. And at one point we lost a client to suicide and I remember feeling dizzy and disoriented and I often wondered if I was cut out for this kind of work. Simultaneously, I began to run a mural group with clients who are part of our psychosocial rehabilitation program, which we call the clubhouse. We started meeting weekly, discussing ideas, sharing stories, and processing emotions and challenges that arise when you bring a group of artists together to work on a collective vision. The artists began to develop their images and powerful messages for the mural. We had the guidance of master muralist Israel Jarez Lopez, who brought so much spirit to our project. We began to meet daily over a two week period to paint the mural while I was also scheduling a month long community tour of the mural for Mental Health Awareness Month, which is in May. I was also figuring out ways to make the mural mobile. Not an easy feat, I found out. The mural toured to the two malls in Santa Fe and the farmer's market and people were able to connect intimately with the mural and all that it stands for. And it inspired those that may need help in their own lives. The mural became one of the most beautiful and authentic and creative expressions I've been part of and the artists took great pride in their creation.
It was like a dream come true to bring art and community and therapeutic processing together, uh, so fulfilling, creative, and yet very demanding. On one hand, I was reveling in gratitude and awe, and on the other hand, my body and my mind and spirit were exhausted. I began to feel emotionally dysregulated and overwhelmed, in other words, burned out. So at this juncture, as I was about to step into my capstone project, this culminating experience of my internship, I knew I had to bring my attention back home to my inner life and create a self-reflective project that could help me regulate, self-soothe, integrate, create an embodied sense of balance and spend time with my heart. Over the course of my life, I have found much healing and growth from practicing rhythmic movement like dance and drumming and yogic practices like breath work, repetitive postures, singing and chanting. There's a power I have found in these practices. They bring me back to my own internal beat, to my essence. So when I saw punch needle embroidery, it resonated as a manageable way to slow down and focus by doing a rhythmic repetitive craft in something I could do daily as a way to integrate my day and come back to my heart. So I decided the design would be based on a daily tracking of my physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual health. The colors I chose are orange for physical health, blue for mental health, green for emotional health, and the gold for spiritual health. I decided to do the practice for 40 days, and I divided the hoop into 40 segments. Each day, I would punch the amount of color in as it related to how much time I spent in each of the four areas. The more color, the more time I devoted to that area. For example, the more green means I spent more time being aware and cultivating my emotional health. These big green segments are probably when I visited with my family or I had friends in town, emotional connection, or maybe I was journaling more or really paying attention and letting my emotions come up and um, speak to me. The more orange means I was physically active, eating well, sleeping well, paying attention to my physical health. I joined a gym. The blue uh, is, am I being mentally stimulated and enriched, uh, reading, learning, studying, um, and the more gold, the more time I spent in my favorite area, meditation, spiritual growth, chanting, uh, listening, being. So enjoy the making of my punch needle mandala. I call it coming home to my true heart through flow state activity.
This capstone project was a true game changer for me, spending time on a daily basis to regulate my heart and track my physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual health gave me the experience of balance and integration that I have truly longed for my entire life. Bringing consciousness to all aspects of my health truly filled my inner well and helped me be my most present self, especially in the clinical settings. And doing an activity that helped develop the flow state also empowered my confidence to create content and curriculums for my therapeutic group work. Being able to offer this kind of support based on my own life experience is just what I needed to feel brave and bold enough to say, I'm truly cut out for this kind of work and I'm excited to continue on this path of sacred transformation for myself and others. I'm excited to be a licensed art therapist and counselor. Thanks everyone for watching and be well.